All right. Hello, everybody. I don't know who I'm talking to because literally at this very moment, I have no, sus no subscribers. Excuse me. That's another thing. I don't have all the fancy editing software. I don't even know what I'm doing yet. So bloopers are included. You're welcome. Okay. So we're going to try a fluid pour. And this time I'm going to do it as a dirty pour with negative space. Same peacock colors as my first video because I am loving them. So first and foremost, I've already mixed the paint because all the videos I've watched of fluid pours, the mixing the paint videos are the most boring. So I'm not gonna do that to you. I am gonna show you, however, the products that I'm using because I noticed that a lot of the other artists get those questions. What do you use? What do you use as your pouring medium? Do you get cells? How do you get cells? So I've been doing this for a while now and I came up with my own little formula that works for me. So I'm gonna share that with you. And if it works for you, great. I don't use a lot of fancy, expensive paint. I started out trying this with nothing but dollar store stuff because I didn't know if I was gonna like it. Of course, now I'm hooked, um, but I'm still using cheap, excuse me, inexpensive dollar store paints for some of this. And I still get cells. I still have good results. Go to my Instagram, you'll see some of the results I've had. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna show you some of the products that I'm using. So these are the colors that we're doing today. So the white, the white I'm using a mixture of the Artist Loft Fluid, which you know, everybody uses this for their white. But I'm also, for sake of, of uh, economics, also using this inexpensive brand here that I got at Hobby Lobby. Now I live in Canada now. I am from California, but now I'm living in Canada and I'm seeing a lot of products that people are talking about in their videos. I just can't get here. So I have to drive to the States to get some of them. So the paints I'm using, that's the white. So this color here, this beautiful purple color, this is acrylic. Uh, it's called, oh, excuse me, wrong one. This is called Acrylic Majestic Purple. Got this at the dollar store, people. At the dollar store. This beautiful turquoise is a mixture of another one from the dollar store called Deep Turquoise and some Artist Loft Thalo Green and some Artist Loft Brilliant Blue. Love this color. I would put it in everything. I would, I would literally put this in every single thing that I do if I could, if it went, because it's beautiful. So a little mixture of all of those. Got this beautiful turquoise color. This sky blue color is, guess what? Sky blue. And it's from um, Acrylic Dollar Store. Then this yellow here, this beautiful yellow color. Let's get this out of the way so you can see it. This beautiful yellow color is bright yellow Americana and caram caramel. Caramel or caramel, depends on how you say it, by uh, it's Craft Paint from Hobby Lobby. Okay, it's a mixture of the two. The bright yellow was a little too bright, so I toned it down with the caramel. This beautiful magenta e color here is Dollar Store Acrylic Wild Eggplant, and a mixture, a little bit added, of Deep Artist Loft Deep Magenta. Another really pretty color. So those are the paints. Oh, and this blue is just the brilliant blue. Love, 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 love. All right, so let me get these out of the way. They're already mixed. Let me just throw them in the box here. No time to clean, no time to do it in an organized fashion. We'll just throw them off to the side. I have my white paint mixed in a little squeezy bottle. This is a condiment bottle from the dollar store. Love having it in here. Learn this from another artist. It makes it so easy to control the where you want your white because I like negative space in my paintings. Don't know why. A lot of people co color... Ugh. Blooper. A lot of people cover their entire canvas with 
color and I've tried that but I really like having some negative space in there it just brightens it up and makes me happy Ooh, I have a hair probably a dog hair okay so the other in what's in my pouring medium here's what I do so I use the ever beloved Floetrol which I have to drive to the States to get about an hour and a half for me I have to drive to the States and get it and I go there and I go to Home Depot they have one left and you know what the guy says to me he says yeah somebody came and bought it all they're doing some sort of painting as an artist or something they pour paint and they use this and I'm like oh fancy that that's what I want it for so I had to go to Lowe's get some more so this is available at your hardware stores in the States in Canada I'm having a hard time Amazon's really hard to find it on um, and the, the shipping is outrageous but I want to tell you I started out without this I started out just doing water with the paint just uh, using water but I didn't get cells some people get cells with just water I think it depends on the paint I didn't get cells with just water some people use just Elmer's glue which is another component that I use they have good luck with that some people use just Liquitex pouring medium I use a little bit of that as well I didn't get a lot of uh, results using just that so I use a combination of the three about one part paint to two parts floor flow troll a little squidgy of the pouring medium and a little squidgy of the Elmer's glue and then I don't use water to thin if I need a thinner consistency I don't use water I use this lovely stuff which I can get in Canada at Home Depot and it's called Zinser latex extender I think that's what it's called yes latex extender see the other parts in French you know because I'm Canada <laughs> um, so this I use in place of water and I've had some really good results with it no cracking um, it just gives a really great consistency to the paint so this is what I'm using instead of water so that's my combination and it also helps me save on paint using all of these I don't have to use quite as much paint to get a good amount so gotta like that all about the economics people all about the economics so I am going to try today the biggest canvas that I've done I'm working my way up to bigger canvases I usually use a 10 by 10 or an 8 by 10 or a whatever else they tell 10 by 12 I don't know but so I'm working my way up to a bigger canvas today I'm going to use a 10 by 20 one of those long ones I am excited to try this out so I need to oh and I always put I learned this from another another youtuber push pins push pins gives you a little bit of space see the push pins right there um, gives you a little bit of space in which to get your fingers underneath so you can move the paint around so I'm going to move the paint out of the way a little well, I'm going to put this out of the way for now because I'm going to pour the paint so let's get a cup I think I think I'll use a bigger cup well no I'll use this one Maybe I'll do two of them just in case. All right. All right, so I am going, oh, I forgot to tell you. Yes, I also use silicone. I get great results with this silicone. I always get cells with this combination that I'm doing right now, always. Never fail, without torching. I still torch to get some of the silicone to come to the top, but I get cells without torching. So this is the silicone that I use. Another thing I had to find in the States. All right, so a lot of this paint I've used already today. So I'm just gonna add just a tiny bit in there because I've, I've added some paint to each one. Um, I do want to say that unlike a lot of artists too, I am I am using a separate white that I am adding a little bit of silicone to. I find I get some really cool results with that. So I'm just, stirring this up just a little bit and then I'm going to pour it into the cups all right let's just have some awkward silence here for a moment 
Okay, there we go. So here we go. I'm going to start with a little bit of white in each one. Let me make sure I get this in the frame here. You see those? Yep, okay. So a little bit of white in each one. Everybody starts with white. I don't know why, but I do it too, and I like it. Okay, some purple. Some purple. Oh, by the way, these little cups come from the dollar store as well. I don't have my gloves on yet. Ugh. I'll put those on in a minute. All right. Yep, they're little um, in the party section, little three ounce cups with lids so I can store unused paint to use the next day if I want to. Over here too. I'm just gonna make two of them and we'll see what happens here. All right, let's do some of this magenta. And magenta. You know, I'm being really neat here for you guys because I'm not usually this neat. Usually have paint flying everywhere. All right, some of this beautiful blue. Love, love, love this blue. I was on a blue kick for a while there. I was doing nothing but blues, different shades of blues. They turned out really nice though. I was kind of happy with them. But then I started the peacock colors and I'm obsessed. I'm going to have to get off that though and do something new here in a day or two, I think. All right. We'll do a little bit more white. Just a little bit here. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to layer it more on top than have it go through. It's not always working, but you know, we'll do our best. And some more purple. All right. Purple here. And let's do now some of this blue. We'll mix up the order a little bit here. Hope you guys can hear me. You know, since I am new at this and, you know, again, I don't know who the hell I'm talking to. Oops, can I say that on YouTube? I don't know who the heck I'm talking to because I don't have any subscribers. But hey, I'm having a good time. And maybe eventually, if somebody actually watches this, they'll have a good time too. Oh, I love these colors so much. <sighs> I'm addicted to color. Love bright colors. Which one do I need now? I think I'll do this one. Not sure where I am now. If you are watching this video and you're enjoying, <laughs> yeah, if you're enjoying my commentary, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, if you're enjoying the video, please, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. Oh, no gloves. And um, that would be much appreciated. And I could actually say hi. I'm a YouTuber. If I get one subscriber. Like I said, I've been doing this for a while. And I just kind of got this idea that, man, you know, I want to share this with people too. I think it's so much fun. And, uh, you know, share the love. Right? Oh, let's put some white in there. Share the love. The love of art.
my normal mode of art was drawing. I was really into drawing mandalas and uh, colored pencils and watercolor. But each one took quite a while to complete. And I just made a 3,000 mile move and retired from my job. And I was really in need of some instant gratification. So I saw some people doing this. I thought, you know, I want to give that a try because it sure looks like fun. And uh, fell in love with it. Kind of perfected what I wanted to do, the style I like. And yes, everybody, you know, the, these styles, there's not much different you can do, really. Um, it's, it's fluid acrylic paint pouring, people. There's not a whole lot of difference. Some people do puddle pours and they get a more swirly effect. Some people, you know, do... I don't know. They, you know, they don't use silicone. They use silicone. They don't use a torch. They use a torch. Um, they, um, I don't know, use water only. It's, you know, it's, it's a whole gamut, but in the end, they're all abstract acrylic, acrylic fluid pour paintings. And, you know, they are what they are and they're a lot of fun to make. I personally, my style is, um, with the negative space and, you know, adding negative space and some interest to it when it's all said and done. My brain thinks in symmetry, so it's really hard for me to stop with asymmetrical, but I'm learning because I think it's very pretty when it's asymmetrical. So I am learning to stop and just let it be. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job with that. So I'm almost done pouring here. I got myself all caught up in talking for a second there. Oh, more of the brilliant blue. Oh. That's how I feel when I see this color. Oh. Yeah, I know. Turn the sound down if you don't like it. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. I could make the, you know, my first video was just a short little sped up thing with music and but you know nah I'd rather chat I don't have any friends where I live yet well I, I do have one but she lives she lives a little ways away so I don't see her every day I love you Jen all right or as I like to call her Jeffiner she knows who she is Okay, so we're going to stop there. We're going to add just a tiny bit of white over the top. I think I've got more than enough paint. All right. Okay, so there's my cups. Can you see in there? All right. I'm going to put the white off to the side because I'll need that. But I'm going to scoot these out of the way. There. Don't spill it because that would be a mess. One over there. Get these out of the way. All right. So, that's centered. I better put gloves on before I do this bad boy because there's going to be paint everywhere. A little extra white in here, so I'm gonna put this over here. All right, there's going to be paints everywhere, and I'm going to love it. Okay, all right, I'm also gonna bring this white over here because I'm gonna use a little bit of that to create some negative splash if I need to. Okay. You, sometimes I do the flip. Today I'm going to do the pour. So let's start with one cup and see if I need the other cup. I might get a little stripey pattern going. It might be kind of cool. All right, am I in frame? Yep. Okay, so here we go. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, here we go. 
this doesn't turn out, I'm going to be really angry. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need both cups. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, my gosh. Oh, wowie. Wowie. Wowie, kazowie. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at the inside of that cup. Can you see that? Now we're going to do some negative space guaranteeing here. Oh, I love that. Okay. And let's do some negative space here. There we go. Some negative space here. Some negative space here. Yes, I do like my negative space. Okay, I think we should start moving it now. First, I'm gonna put white all around the edges. So regardless, I got covered corners because I don't like when the corners aren't covered. Okay, I will do that. I'll probably have to come along and fix some of that, I'm sure. All right. Excuse the arm. Cover the corners, put some white along the edge. Look at that get sealed up. Oh, I love it. It is so purdy. Purdy, purdy, purdy. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Purdy, yes. All right, shall we move it? <laughs> I like this one. Oop. Right in the paint. Can you see that? Right in the paint. Okay. I'm going to stand up for this one. All right. Here we go. Oh, gosh. That is so pretty. I don't want to lose any of it. But you got to move it. I know people are always like, oh, my gosh. You're going to lose all that beautiful paint, but you have to lose some of it got no choice. It's the nature of the beast. Why am I whispering? I don't know why I'm whispering. But I gotta move this. Can you see it? All right. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, I don't want to lose too much. Let's get over some over on this side. Let's go this way. Zowie. Let's go off this side a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God, this is gorgeous. Oh, I'm loving it. I need to get some in this corner here. Just a bit, and then I'll move it back over. Okay, because everything's getting stretchy. Let's straighten it back out a little bit. Oh, I gotta stay in focus here, stay in frame. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, it's simply gorgeous. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. All right. All right. Oh my God. I hope the colors are translating on this camera because this is to die for. All right. I got to torch it because I can see bubbles. Okay. So let's just do a little torching. Oh, I'm getting lacing. Oh, I love it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I gotta stop saying oh my goodness, but oh my goodness. Oh, lordy, 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 I love it. I don't know if you can see what it's doing right along the white edges. 
but I'm loving it, absolutely loving it. See, my asymmetrical brain is like, you've got to move it more, you've got to move it more. It's not straight, it's not straight. Well, you know what? Shut up, brain. Shut up, brain. Because this is gorge. Absolutely gorge. Oh, my goodness. Can you see the colors popping up in here? Oh. You know, flip the torch. Oh my God. <laughs> this is awesome. I, I seriously hope the colors are coming out on camera the way they, the way they look to me because, oh my God. Oh my God. more cells are popping up here on the edges so I've gotta like I've gotta get them because they're just and that folks is why I put a little bit of silicone into the white that I make negative space with because I get this amazing effect on the edge and I just love that I don't know about you but I just love this. Love, love, love. All right, so I've got some, got some blank spaces here that I've still gotta fill in some white. Just gonna go in and carefully make sure all my edges are covered. Oh, let's see over here. Ooh, they're all covered over there. They're all covered over there. Let's see if I can get over here. Excuse my arm for a moment. That's all covered. Oh, look there. I am just, I'm all covered. Yay. Okay. I, this is probably the best thing I've ever done. Bar none. I, I don't know what else to say, but I'm in love with it. I am absolutely in love with it. I love the way the cells are growing on the sides. On the white parts it's just beautiful absolutely beautiful this part right in here and this part right in here are just the colors coming through like every color I used is just coming through in all these different cells it's just breathtaking so that's it. I hope you can see how beautiful this is. I mean, it's just stunning. Um, I don't want to move it. I don't want to, I don't know if I can get it up there so you guys can see it a little better. Let's see if I can do it. I mean, can you see this? The colors are mind blowing. Oh, I'll post a finished one on my Instagram. So it'll have the colors a little more, you'll be able to see the colors a little better on it, I think, than on this video. Um, the lacing is super cool. Oh yeah, look at these cells are still popping up. There was a lot of silicone in here, that's why. So they're still popping. So I'm loving it. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna leave it alone now. Gonna stop and leave it alone. Um, oh wait, no, I've got, to, I just can't leave things alone. I gotta pop right here. I got cells popping. I gotta pull them up. I'm burning the paint, uh-oh. I'm actually blowing on the paint because it smoked. Never had that happen before. Okay, I'm stopping now.
before I burn my whole painting. Yep, I'm stopping now. Okay. Love, love, love. All right. Thank you. Subscribe if you liked it. Subscribe even if you didn't. But I'm hoping to keep doing this. Uh, I know I will keep doing it, but whether I'll keep making videos, it's up to you. If you like it, tell me. Um, anyway, thank you for watching to all of my zero subscribers. I hope I get at least one. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.